This is your CBS News Baltimore Evening Update for Thursday, November the 2nd. I'm Vic Carter. WJZ is working to learn more after a suspicious package was found at the Elijah E. Cummings Courthouse earlier today. The fourth floor of the courthouse was shut down after the package was found, and it prompted a hazmat response. According to the Baltimore City Sheriff's Office, the package was found to contain a non-hazardous substance. The floor was then reopened. The office is now investigating that matter. Today, Baltimore City's Police Accountability Board held its first news conference since it began working together over the summer in June. Today's discussion highlighted the work and history of the Accountability Board. The board says one of the ultimate goals is transparency to the public regarding allegations of officer misconduct. By the end of the year, the board aims to release a report on its findings. That report will have proposed legislative changes, recommendations to the police department stemming from investigations, plus recommendations to improve the accountability board itself. While we're excited for the opportunity to do this work, we also recognize uh, that there are challenges and opportunities of ahead of us uh, that we will have to overcome, and there will need to be a commitment from all parties to truly do this work transparently uh, and making sure that this board gets the resources that are necessary, necessary and the training necessary to continue to do this work. Tonight is the final viewing for a fallen Baltimore City firefighter. Dylan Ronaldo, a six-year veteran of the department, has been posthumously promoted to captain. He and firefighter EMT Rodney W. Pitts III died from injuries sustained while battling a row home fire on Linden Heights Avenue on October the 19th. Pitts was laid to rest last week. His funeral will be held tomorrow at 10 a.m. at Cathedral of Mary Our Queen. And a reminder, there will be several road closures in effect for tomorrow's funeral. You'll want to avoid North Charles Street between West Cold Spring and Northern Parkway from 7 a.m. to noon. There will also be closures along Western Northern Parkway from North Charles Street to I-83 following the funeral. And you should expect additional delays along that procession route to Delaney Valley Memorial Gardens in Timonium with some closures on East Padonia Road. Of course, we'll be streaming Captain Ronaldo's funeral service live on CBS News Baltimore tomorrow morning. Our coverage begins at 8 a.m. And that's your evening update for CBS News Baltimore. I'm Vic Carter.